From childhood, all of us have dreams. We dream of the beautiful lives we would have and the wonderful jobs we would do to help humanity. What would you like to be in future? I would like to become an engineer in future. I would like to become a journalist in future. I would like to be a nurse in future. But what about working at the mortuary? Choosing a career where you spend all your working life taking care of the dead? It may sound weird, but the reality of the fact that all of us will die also requires that somebody takes up the job of working in the mortuary where almost every one of us will be kept before we are buried. When we think of morticians, we tend to think of something like a weird older man with strange habits and possibly some dark hidden secrets, someone who is perhaps better with the dead than the living. Mr. Aivo is a mortuary assistant and has been in this profession for 28 years. Mr. Tejimano, let me near Danfo, but it's not a little far Danfo. It's almost a much more sebi, say, and I'm poor. Now, in Ghana, morticians learn the trade on the job. Though there have been discussions within the health ministry for several years on giving these people some form of professional training, this has not been achieved. Uh, so many of us have preconceived notions about morticians, but by and large, it's a misunderstood profession. Moreover, the issue of death is very complicated and more often frightening. Tell my family, I my mother told me can say, "Much for my father, I no money for that." And so me buy no, me share with that. And I sat down to say, "Titi, titi." But I say no, I go say, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." By the way, she say, "A man and dozen." And so no, me who say will be a fight only for that that. Just 
and I'm going to be a year to be a why is that you want to be a a Mortuaries have a long-standing reputation for being dark, creepy places populated by ghoulish individuals. In reality, mortuary assistants are just like everyone else. I did it. Me to me confirm say, we did, we did, we did. But I will be any onongasani then. The protection. I says, soon soon there, I na hu hu there wo. If you will know, if you will do we know. Anya no onongasani wo. And you know, protection there. Me to me to me say say, we will be, we will be. I na I na we will be. This is one casa. I know better one say say. Oh, me me do do na be the yejuma no. Want to be can be there. And see be there so. Sanity. <laughs> Since I said you, I remember that day. And they are crying. Because you are poor by the end of the day, no. Send Kakao, you know, say much of the sent to her. And they are poor. And I said, I did a kind of crack. And they are meant to cut a baby. And the first day, I said, 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 if I 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 Research has indicated that morticians and embalmers are stigmatized for their work. The decay of dead bodies is a stigmatized process even in the American culture. In America, as well as in many other societies, the topic of death is avoided until the need arises to discuss it. Due to the lack of open discourse regarding death, the subject has become taboo and surrounded by mystery, making the people who work on the dead to suffer a lot of stigma, which affects their marriages and relationships. Because <laughs> Matot <laughs> I <laughs> Yo, Pomia, yo, Cocomia, Jimmy, go with school news, Grammar Della Camara Manguasi, Catherine School, when your mother. Never value your buffer for near the one, old black, I can make banana because you know Cocomia, Jimmy, go with school news. Now, your valley are all bomb, my dear Moha. Oh, dear number, a dance run your lady, mother of home, our grandma, our mother of home. A lava moon, your chocolate, do an army time, or in your parent on army. Research 
recent numbers from the U.S. Bureau of Labor and Statistics lists embalming and the job of a mortician as one of the 15 disappearing middle-class jobs. In Ghana, it is perceived as a job that people do only when they have come to the end of the road and run out of options. But Embalming processes that Aivo and other mortuary assistants do is a chemical procedure where they inject the corpses with embalming fluid to preserve them. By living with the dead, he understands life even more. If you don't see and interact with dead bodies, you really can't fully understand death. There's a real difference between a dead body and a living body, and you can really tell that death is final and that the person is really gone. Going around not fully believing that you're going to die is really problematic because it affects how you think about the future of your own life and about the decisions you're making. The thought of death should make us humble because in death, the rich, the poor, the young and the old are all but the same. For some time, let's say we are 20 days and 30 days, that's uh, one month. Ghost stories and a lot of terrifying tales about the spirits of the dead lurking around in the dark corners of the mortuary abound. They sound so easy to believe. Almost every mortician has had one form of encounter of some scary moment in the morgue before. Uh, there are a couple of ways to respectfully dispose of a person's body. The most popular in Ghana is burial, but some families choose cremation. For burial, a body must be embalmed, its blood replaced with embalming fluid, 
within 24 hours of death. Being a mortician isn't an easy job. In Ghana, the mortician and his office, the morgue, is a place of neglect. Though the embalmment process requires the use of toxic chemicals, Aivo and his colleagues have to work without much personal protective equipment like hand gloves and nose masks. No. Morticians really do try to be as gentle and respectful with the bodies as possible. But ultimately, the process of getting a body ready for viewing in a casket is something most normal people will call dreadful.
Mrs. Tapeni, my cousin is here. Another sister, my cousin is here. I said, I'm my cousin, my brother, I am my mule. and Tabak, my name is here. I'm going to say, 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 I'm going to most cultures across the globe have a specified group of people who are assigned the duties of caring for the dead. In some cultures, this is considered a privilege or an honor, while in most, it is considered a taboo. In India, it is those who are classified as untouchables, the lowest ranking in the Indian caste hierarchy, who are responsible for handling dead animals and preparing human corpses. There also exists a class of people in Japan, the Burakumin, who since medieval times have been in charge of human remains and to this day are discriminated against for this reason. There is no caste system defined in Ghana, but working in a mortuary definitely fails to bring prestige to those who choose to make it their profession. In fact, handling the dead is looked upon as an extremely dirty job. I don't know why our Marry a mortuary man. If he's going there to the mortuary, he will take me along. Hey, no, 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 no. I'm scared. The way they look like, the way, you know, they're changing form, they're changing color and all this stuff. So, why would I allow my husband to be doing that kind of job? I can't marry much, but please pardon me that. No, that's not my destiny. I just don't like it. I just don't like a much man as it has. The job doesn't mean that it's a, not a human being, it's a human being. It's a professional job that. So me to me, I would like my daughter or my son to marry a much man. Yeah. In case of anything happening in the house, we can help. No, I don't know anything about uh, because I don't, I'm not a doctor. I don't, so the Machima knows something about if something happened to human being in the house, he know how to do before sending to the hospital. The work that they are doing is good by, to me, how they, are, they use their hands in certain things, taking a uh, dead body and those things. I don't like it. Me, me, no, me, so, I don't so, I don't like it. Bibi Bakwa Kotuna na Bibi Sa because much men and there in some woman and yeah when they kind of the air drone or the yard. And to me and Yami Sumni, I didn't tell my quack of a draw be or dear draw a year to man in Atana. Me to me. Most often the circumstances within which one finds himself defines his understanding of life. Nevertheless, what really is life and how should we live? Yesterday, I'm in the mortuary. Since uh, I went in to see somebody lying down, I said, no, no. By looking at the present life, when I watch critically, it is really a pity. Miracle. we are baby before when, when you see obituary posters at a place you see 90 80 120 140 but now 16 17 20 25 30 35 uh, i don't think it's well enough uh, there's something wrong somewhere all the people that were coming the great the small and the big, the educated and unlearned, all are being carried by the same types of vehicles. They are sending all of them to one measured grave. And I can see the coffin almost look alike, whether shining or ugly, it is, it is described to be the same thing. Life on this earth here. Yeah. It's very short. 
We should remember our Creator so we can serve Him and serve Him well, do His will, so that one day, when that day comes, we will not uh, be afraid of anything, but we will gladly accept what God's will has for us. So you need to establish your own destiny, what God has given me, and what is my portion. When you think about your brother, you are thinking about your brother's portion. Your own portion is how to live. Then there shall be a trumpet. This is the belief of Christians. That we shall have this trumpet sound. And those who have received the Holy Ghost as Christian belief, when this trumpet shall sound, you shall rise again. Now we are saying this here, do I want to don't know why here. Oh, what do I be? I am to be be a child free. Now, who need do? What's in your meal? What's wrong? Oh, no, don't. Oh, no, that's all done. Who need to turn chair and what did he? One may come in one minute. What's that? I was here, Christian. A day will come. I will be there. Isaiah 10. He said, So you will you be like me and you will come here as I have come here. Oh, my baby, I'm not going to be here. Sebio, <laughs> But Say, President, lawyer, and at times, we say, Mami, 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 mami,